The topic of my presentation today is, is on which is witch hunting, injustice, superstition in Africa. So I want to thank you for inviting me to speak as part of the activities marking the National Science Week. Personally, I cannot recall anything like a National Science Week in my country. I wonder if such a celebration takes place anywhere in sub-Saharan Africa. Instead, in Nigeria, I'm aware that we observe National Superstition Weeks. Every year, the government and people of Nigeria spend weeks celebrating myth, superstition, and dogma. This excludes several working hours, which Nigerians devote every day to praying and communicating with imaginary entities. So it should not surprise anyone that beliefs and misconceptions informed by fear and fantasies are ravaging the continent like wildfire, leaving a lot of darkness, suffering, and destruction in their wake. Now, permit me to use this opportunity to express my gratitude to all of you, my skeptic and humanist friends in Australia, for the support you have given me over the years. In the past years, I have struggled and campaigned to realize a just, tolerant, rational, and compassionate society. I'm fully aware of the risks involved in prosecuting such a campaign, including the risk of losing my life. But I'm encouraged by the enlightening potentials of such a cause. I think we run more risks as a people, as a nation, and as a world without a campaign for raising science and critical thinking in Africa. And this bomb attack is just a clear example. They targeted the UN building. And you know that United Nations building is not always people from that country. You have people from other countries. And as I'm talking to you now, we still don't know the nationalities of at least 18 people that died. So that is it. So it is not just a Nigeria problem. It's our problem. And that is the kind of message. That's a message I would like to send or register with you, our friends in Australia, concerning the situation in my country. Yes, my campaign has on several occasions landed me into trouble with local authorities, talks and criminals who have vested interest in the unjust and oppressive system in my country. I have been arrested, detained, and beaten up several times by the police. My family members, including my father, have been attacked. August 4, last year, some hired assassins you know, came into our house in our family home and they beat up my father. They hit him with a stone, one of the eyes, and then later he, had, he underwent evisceration. So he lost one of the eyes. My brothers have also been attacked and beaten up by police and soldiers hired by local thugs. Efforts to bring these thugs and criminals to justice have yielded no results. In 2009, some of the talks from a local witch hunting church, the Liberty Gospel Church, invaded our conference venue, attacked me, beat me up, and stole my personal items. And later sued me to court. The past few years have been very trying and challenging for me. But I am not discouraged. You have been a great source of strength and inspiration to me. 